Good morning, folks. A minor geomagnetic storm persisted for hours and hours between November 3rd and November 4th. Or did it? Was it really minor? You may have seen a recent article stating that we lack the ability to really capture how bad some solar storms can be. Well, I think that's what happened here. Dr. Kong Papu Yen sent me an email last night sharing an observation from the 108 Day Goes 15 chart. Bottom line is the magnetometer readings. You can see the spikes down which show our magnetic storms over the last few months, but look at what just happened with this latest storm. The largest spike on the chart, and certainly much worse than just a level 1 event. Furthermore, the rheometers show fantastic plasma absorption by the upper atmosphere, indicating that Earth's shield did not block incoming particles during that time, or that our field did not properly guide those particles to the poles. Air traffic was grounded in Sweden yesterday. The government definitively blames the solar storm and says they could not see the airplanes on radar. But there were also transformer fires in Lincoln, Nebraska, near the university, Dallas, Texas, where two transformer fires took place during the storm, and in Auckland, where lines fell in one area while a transformer burned in another. But folks, we weren't done yet. A small M flare at the limb was followed by a shattering of the earth facing quiet. The long term trends are unlikely to change, but for one moment, one day, the sun gave us everything it had left. It wasn't much due to its trend downward towards grand minimum, but folks were still technically coming down from the last sunspot max, so this is going to still happen periodically. Coming over to spaceweathernews.com, we find it was a long duration flare that really stands out in the crowd. It is clear that a CME was produced. You can see the ripple through the corona, and so we're going to need to analyze it. If you were watching the updates last night, you know that I judge there to be an Earth-directed component that should strike our planet on Friday evening. Minutes later, NASA updated their analysis to show an impact on Saturday morning. It took a few more hours for NOAA to chime in, but this morning they agree about Earth impact and say it will be Friday night. So all three analyses concur that this CME will impact Earth. NASA says Saturday. NOAA and I both say Friday night. So, what does this mean for Earth? Folks, normally the Earth can take X-class flares without issue, but this summer we've seen lower level events produce disruptions, and I'd expect the geomagnetic storms to do the same this weekend. Be on the lookout for all the normal types of troubles that come with these solar events, but this is not expected to be the one that ends it all, even with Earth's enhanced vulnerability to the events. That big sunspot group is still in a bit of decay. The delta magnetism remains but is continuing to fade in the central regions. We've also got an eye out in that new group coming in up north. Solar wind, our only light space weather news, still calming from the corona hole stream. By the way, here comes Mercury in on Soho Lasco C3 and conjoins the sun in just 12 days. Quakes over the last day. Folks, two-pointers happen out east, but when you get to 3.7, that is above average. We also have a regional uptick in the northwest Pacific. Forecasters I talk to say the lithosphere is ready to shift here, so eyes open. Now let's do a bit of weather. Australia watched a strong storm rip through the southeast yesterday, creating tornadoes and some pretty bad damage locally. Coming next to the Indian Ocean, where we see two lows developing, the one to the left is actually slated to head in towards Yemen on the exact same track as the last one. It is climate extremes time in the United States, heat in the east, storms in the middle, snow out west. We'll watch this one come across for the next few days. Over in Europe, that oceanic earth spot is cresting now and will bring the bad weather along with it, winds and heavy rain. Website members, there is an awe-inspiring new video posted to Yelverton's lab. Billy may have really outdone himself this time. We're looking at other big storms around the world, followed by shots of our star to close. It's 5.50 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.